In this lesson, you'll learn how to use the Relational Graphing tool on your TI-Inspire calculator. We'll start by inserting a graphs application into your current document. By default, the graph type is a function, and the cursor is poised, waiting for a function to be defined. Functions map each x value to a single y value. Relations, on the other hand, can map a single x value to multiple y values. So let's see how this works. To access the Relational Graphing tool, you can either backspace over the equal sign, and notice that Relation appears in the list. Alternatively, press Control followed by Menu. Select Graph, Entry, Edit, and all the graph types offered in the main menu appear here. Select Relation. A circle is a simple example of a relation. I'll use the equation x squared plus y squared equals 25. We see a circle of radius 5 units. Now press the tab key and enter the relation x equals 3. The vertical line passes through the circle in two locations, so we have a single x value corresponding to two y values. To see where the vertical line intersects with the circle, press Menu, select Geometry, Points and Lines, and finally Intersection Points. Use the touchpad to navigate to the circle and click on it, and then click on the vertical line. The two points of intersection are created and the coordinates are identified. Just like functions, relations entered in the graphs application are automatically numbered and can be easily accessed from other applications. Insert a calculator application. Now, suppose we want to see where the line x equals 3 intersects the circle. Press Menu, select Algebra, and then Solve. We could type the equation label, or simply select it from the variable menu. Press the VAR key, and select Relation 1. Enter 3 for the x value, followed by a comma y. Close the parentheses and enter comma y to solve for y. Then press enter. We see the same two solutions as we did in the graphs application. So let's head back to the graphs application. Press the tab key and delete the line x equals 3 and insert a hyperbola. The equation for the hyperbola, x squared over 9 minus y squared over 16 equals 1. Now suppose you want to know the equation to the asymptotes. Press Menu, Analyze Graph, Analyze Conic, and Asymptotes. That's all for this lesson. Check out the other lessons in this series.